Hi guys, Chili Dev here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own top down movement inside Unity. Basically, this video will cover movement, some sprite flipping, and sorting order. But before we get down to it, I would like to thank you guys for supporting me by watching my videos. It means a lot of me, and I hope these topics will be of use in your game dev journey. With that, let's hop into Unity. In Unity, I have created a basic scene with a camera, a character, and some basic environment. In our character game object, we have the sprite renderer, which displays the sprite into our scene, a capsule collider that will allow us to detect any collision later on, and a rigid body 2D component. I've also set the gravity scale to zero so that it does not fall like how a platformer character behaves. For my environment, I have set up some trees with a sprite renderer attached as well as some box colliders. With this setup, let's get moving. Click on the plus icon and select C sharp script. Let's name this script player movement. Next, double click the script to open up Visual Studio. For our movement, we want to move based on a certain speed. We move left when the player presses the left arrow key, move right when the player presses right, move up when the player presses up and move down when the player presses down. Inside the script, let's create the public float variable name speed. This will determine based on how fast the player moves. Next, we will need to have a reference for a rigid body in order to move the player. For that, we type in rigidbody2dRB. In the start method, we then get the reference of the rigid body via get component. Next, create a vector2 direction to cache in our input information. We set the default to vector2 0. In our fix update, set the x direction equal to input dot get axis raw horizontal. We then do the same for the y direction, but this time we set the axis to vertical. Basically, what get axis raw does is moving from 0 to 1 real quick. Get axis on the other hand is moving from 0 to 1 depending on how sensitive you set them in the input manager via gravity, dead, and sensitivity. Lastly, set the RB velocity equal to the direction times the speed. Now if you save it, attach the player movement script to the character, set the speed to let's say 2.5, Click on play, you'll see that the player now moves in all directions. The next thing to do is to have the player face on the direction they are moving. They face left when the player hits left, and face right when the player hits right. Let's leave the facing up and facing down B for now. Back in our script, create a boolean to check whether the player is facing left or not and set the default to false. Next, create a flip method below fix update. Inside the method, set the scale equal to transform.local scale, flip the scale by multiplying it by negative 1. Set the transform local scale equal to the modified scale. In our update method, we then check if the player pressed right and facing is true, we flip, and vice versa. Now if you save it, the character is now facing the right direction. However, we have an issue regarding the sorting order. To fix this, the first thing we need to do is to go to our sprite folder and click on the sprite. Click on the sprite editor to open it up. Set the pivot on the bottom center. I recommend putting on where the base of the object is found. I've gone ahead and did the same to the trees and set a custom pivot on each of them. The last part is the sorting part. Currently, the sorting layers is defined based on the Z axis by default. To change that, go to Edit, Project Settings, under Graphics tab, change the Sort Mode to Custom Axis. Set the Z Sort Axis to 0, set the Y Sort Axis to 1. Lastly, check if the order in layer is the same for each of the game objects. Now, if everything is set up properly and you click Play, you now have a spicy top-down movement and ready to go. Now that you have the knowledge necessary to create a top-down movement, the next step is to go crazy with it. Now you can make the player 1, 
have some sort of aiming system with respect to where the cursor is pointed and many many more. If you are making a top down game, do let me know in the comments down below. As such, if you enjoy this video, smash that like button and if you don't want to miss the next one, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. Overall, thanks for watching, cheers.